everybody, this is Joe Workman. And in this video, right now, we're gonna review CMS version 1.1. This includes Easy CMS and Total CMS. Now, first, we're gonna go over some features that are specific to Easy CMS and Total CMS. And then I'm gonna jump in and then we're gonna look at some stuff that's just for Total CMS, okay? So right now, let's go ahead now. I should add that you should check out the release notes. I'm not gonna go over every single nook and cranny. I'm only gonna touch like the big features, right? There was a lot of small minor bug fixes, a lot of smoothing of the surface for this release, right? And it's our first big update. And of course, there's some new stacks in Total CMS. So um, some really exciting stuff in this update and I can't wait for you to play with it. Let's go. Now here we are inside the Easy CMS demo file, just to show you that we're gonna be looking over some features that have been added to Easy CMS. Now all of these features that I'm gonna mention right now also pertain to Total CMS as well, okay? So the first one we're gonna look at is the text stack. This is the content text stack inside Easy CMS. And as you probably know, you can use this to insert text from the CMS. Now if you set the display to be format plus markdown, a lot of times people want to be able to customize the colors and the sizing and the alignment of these, um, right? So we've added that. Basically, inside align, uh, you can default, which will inherit from its parent, or you can set it to left, right, center, or justify, okay? And also you can do styles. Now, default will inherit from the theme, okay? And if you have foundation installed, you can actually select from the seven foundation styles as well, from the alternate and all seven swatches. And then you can also set custom. So if you're not using foundation or you wanna use a completely custom style for this area, you can set it to custom where you can then define headers, text, and link colors. Moving on to images, we've added a couple small but very exciting features. First, we've added a line, which you can actually align the image. Not so exciting, right? But this is where it gets exciting. There is a new mobile image setting. And when you set this to thumbnail or square thumbnail, you can actually customize the image that's used and use one of the thumbnails on mobile devices. This allows you to you know, leverage the CMS that auto creates these thumbnails and you actually use those smaller versions of your image on mobile devices. This is very powerful because we get this nice drag and drop of the CMS. The CMS automatically generates these thumbnails for us. And now we can use those thumbnails for a real purpose, which is mobile browsing. Now, last on the list here is inside the admin page, inside admin core, you'll notice that there is a new setting here for banner alerts. Now, you know when you save text inside the CMS, you get a nice little um, circle, you know, either a check mark or a X stating whether or not it was successful or failed. Now, this was a little too subtle for some people. So if you enable banner alerts inside admin core, you'll get a completely new alert. And if you see, when I save this, you'll get a nice, really bold banner at the top that really shows you that it was successful. And what it does is it auto hides after the user has been alerted so that it doesn't stay there and be annoying, right? But this is a much more, um, dare I say, in your face way of telling users that their save was successful. Now the last big feature has to do with these big boys, right? Phones and editing things on mobile. Now. If you've watched some videos in the past, I've kind of shown you how it was could be tricky to kind of, you know, upload images from your mobile device. Not anymore. I've really spent time optimizing that. So you just simply tap on the image in the admin area and you will immediately get the little pop-up context menu where you can take a photo, choose a photo from your library and upload it directly to the CMS. And not only that, but if you've ever uploaded an image from your phone, you may have noticed that they're not correct, right? They're always rotated the wrong way, right? But now the CMS also automatically detects which way you took the phone when you, or which way your orientation of the phone was when you took the photo and automatically corrects and rotates the image for you. 
This is really exciting because now it really makes you know, uploading images from your phone so much more powerful. And again, we can update our CMS right from our phone. This is really exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about this, right? Um, because while it was cool before, it actually works really smoothly now, the way it should have been at launch. But I'm glad that we fixed it and it's awesome. So test it out and love it. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to jump into Total CMS and see some of the awesome new features that Total CMS gets in version 1.1. Now, first on the list is a new integration with Total CMS and our impact stack. Now, I'm really excited about this because it allows us to integrate not only with galleries, but feeds as well. And it gives us a new way of displaying those on our websites. So as we see in this example, we have a gallery that impact is pulling the gallery from the CMS. And if the image has an alt tag like this one, it will actually overlay that on, the, on top of the image as a caption. And if that's not cool enough, it also supports feeds. In this demo with Total CMS and Impact, Impact is actually pulling all of the content from a Total CMS feed. It's using the image as the background and it's overlaying the post content right on top. Now we've actually published a video on a little bit more on how all of this works. And it's really super simple and easy to use. So make sure you check out that video. Now we have three new stacks that came in Total CMS version 1.1. We have the toggle stack for the admin as well as the content side. And we have a new select show stack in the content. Let's see exactly what these are. Now the next new stack is called the total toggle stack. And in the admin area, it is this little switch. And when you turn that switch on, it's just a really simplistic way of turning on and off content that is in our content page. So right now I've enabled a content area on my content. And then if I turn it off, that content will now no longer be displayed. It couldn't be any easier than that. Now here on the content side, we'll see that I have a total toggle section. And when the toggle is turned on, this entire section is actually displayed on the page. And if I were to toggle that off, it obviously this content would not be displayed. We could do the same thing with the new total select show stack. We have the ability based on the select option that was chosen by the user, we can actually display content on the page. Now the select show stack is a lot more elaborate than just the simple toggle on and off like we have with the toggle stack. Because with the select show stack, we give it a CMS ID and the content is actually compared. So here I can say, show this if the content is equal to, not equal to, greater than or less than if the actual content was a number, or you can do a contains string. So you can actually search for a string inside the content, right? So this gives us a lot of flexibility for when we wanna actually display content. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is some really an overhaul of Hipwig. And we've really fine tuned it and gave you a lot more options. So inside admin core, you'll notice that the new default for the Hipwig toolbar is static. You can still use the inline tooltip, okay? But the default is now a static toolbar. You also have a little bit more configuration options for in terms of adding dividers. And there are new pro settings that allow you to really hone down the exact options or menus that you want. Now be very, very careful with these pro settings because syntax matters. Make sure you don't have smart quotes on, make sure that you don't have a ending comma at the very end, right? This syntax, the syntax here that's there by default works. Replicate that and you're golden. Make any syntax errors and your page will break. So if you look now, the new Hipwig editor has a beautiful inline toolbar that will always be displayed at the top of the text area. This is really, really nice because it also makes it a lot nicer to use on mobile because you can actually tap the button 
first, and let's say you wanna have a header or bold, you can just tap it instead of trying to fiddle with the iOS tooltip that also shows up, right? So the new static toolbar in Hipwig will really make it a lot more powerful and a lot more user-friendly. So that in a nutshell is all the major updates that came in Total CMS and Easy CMS version 1.1, right? Now, one other thing actually with Total CMS is you can now upload multiple images and multiple files to galleries and depots, right? Before it was a little unreliable, but now uploading, you can upload 50 images and the CMS will chug through one at a time and upload them and process everything. So it works really, really nice now. So go ahead and try uploading multiple images at the same time and it should work beautifully, okay? Now, there are a lot of other really small changes. And if you wanna read the release notes, go ahead. There's a lot of little changes and fixes, right? This update really smooths things out as well as adds a, a few really nice features. Right? I think the toggle and the new select show stack are powerful. Right, I've done videos specifically on them. So if you want a little bit more in depth on how toggle or the select stack works, go ahead and check out those videos. I've also done a video on the impact and CMS integration as well. So if you want a little bit more in depth on how to do all of that, go ahead and check that video out. So I hope you enjoy this update. It really helps making Total CMS a much more user-friendly product, more powerful, and I can't wait for version 1.2. Blogs all the way, baby. See you later, everybody. Bye.